to set this up. So stay tuned, I'll be starting it in just a second. So we'll be um, kicking that on. Okay, so according to the delay with this, I have to wait just a tiny bit before everything begins. So let's do that. Okay, looks like we are live. So hello everyone. This is a um, Beef's brush board. So you can see the manual on the side here and the actual controller board, which is here. Now, if you look at it, it's very interesting design. This one, I have used a 3D printed frame. Works pretty well, all good. But we need to set up the actual software. So let's do that now. So I'm going to use the manual, which is um, present here, but with some minor amendments. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the manual. Now you can see on the top here, let's um, get the manual bit up. So you look at it, you've got the motors plugged in hopefully all correct. Now see how there is a little hole on the bottom there? Make sure you follow that when setting up the hardware part of it. Now the next part is the FTDI cable. So let's um, scroll down here. Now see here that they've, um, they're only using four pins. Now what happens, and I'll tell you why I stuffed mine up and blew up the board the first time around, is the top pin here is the ground, so that's black. The next pin is the power. The next pin after that is, on the beefy brush boards, RX and TX. But it's actually the opposite way around when you're connecting it to the flight control board, which is what I've done there. Get that right, double check, triple check. Well, actually, the only important ones are the power and ground. Um, if you get that wrong, you blow up your board, and that's what I've done. So plug that in properly. I'm going to do that now. And what happens is, I'll um, just close this window for a sec, is you can see this is um, base flight controller. So if you plug it in properly and it all works, when you plug it in, it will power up. Now you'll have a green and a red bit blinking on this bit. You can see that bit is pulsing fairly quickly. So that means it's working. And you can see here, I can tilt it around this kind of weak power connection. See? So I've calibrated the accelerometer. So put it on a flat surface, click on that, and go. Um, later on, I recommend doing the magnetometer before you connect up the battery. Battery is obviously this connection here. Don't do that yet. So we'll go back to the manual and go through the stuff that they've done there. So there's only one minor step that we've got different. So calibration, we've just mentioned that. The CLI settings for brush motor usage. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go into this. So we have to go into, let's um, bring it up. Yeah, we have to go into the CLI menu. And then we have to, so we type our stuff in the bottom here. So now we're in there, we're going to type set with a um, set motor PWM rate 32,000. Okay, so we're going to type that. And I stuffed up because I had a pound at the start. Don't put the pound. Okay, so that worked. Now I'm going to type save. It's going to save, it's going to reboot. You don't have to save because we're going to do another option now. Cool, all good. Now the next step is to set our whole throttle, I think. So we set POW, yep, all cool. Now the minimum throttle. This one's a bit of a tricky one because it's slightly different from the manual. You can see here they've set um, min throttle 10,000. Whereas the real setting for it is min underscore throttle. So I'll show you what I actually, you're actually meant to type. So um, put this back up. So the proper setting is set min underscore throttle equals 1,000. What did I do wrong here? <laughs> I bet it's got no underscore. Okay, so this because this is base flight, you do 
not have to add the underscore. Try it with both of them and you'll know when it works when it says min throttle set to x. Now for one of these options, I think PWM rate, so I'm going to, if you go out at any of those tabs, it'll um, tell you to do that and save it. Next one is we're going to enable PPM input. And now that is because we have micro FR export. That means we're going to use PPM to talk with the um, the flight control of the transmitter, which I'll, um, I might as well do that bit as well while I'm here. So I'm going to um, save that in a sec. So we're going to look here, battery monitoring, monitoring, why not? Most of these other options don't really matter for because we're building a mini one. Now see how the minimum throttle here? We can actually set that in the GUI. But, oh this might be a new feature. Um, that looks like what we had to also set as well. I do recommend that you set it via the CLI just to be sure of it. Alright, so I think that's it. We'll just double check. So we've enabled PPM. like um, the option says here. So again, I'm using um, base flight, not clean flight. Binding. Oh, so binding wise, if you're using the micro FR export, you have to put your short the um, bind pins to be able to get the next bit. Once you've done that, you can then use the transmitter. Now I'm going to go run get mine for a sec and um, you can see this pretty graph. One moment. Okay, so hopefully in that time you've been able to bind up your transmitter, or your receiver, sorry, which on this board, I'll see if I can show it off here. Again, the power connections on mine are fairly fragile. So, it's that little red thing. Yeah, so tiny. So that's that. Alright, so I've already bound mine but I haven't set up the channels again, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to look in here, set up the modes as needed. We're going to um, do it as per the manual here. So again, this is the transmitter. This is a Tyrannus X9D. Um, good value, well recommended. So I'm going to switch that on. Actually, I've got the wrong control altogether. This is a Turn G9X. Do not recommend this one because it's a bit tricky. So, wait one moment while I do grab the proper one. Wherever it is. So, you've just seen the 9x, might as well give you a 10 second look at what's the difference between them. This is a 9x, Turnergy, and this rather different looking-ish one is the Taras X9D. Much wider screen, and the gimbals on this are awesome. Alright, so I'm going to switch it on. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Yes, very swish, eh? Switch warning. So it's going to warn me about all kinds of stuff. Now remember, while I'm doing this stuff, I'm being naughty and having the propellers connected. But because the battery isn't connected, the motors will not spin up. If you ever want to plug in the battery, take the propellers off. Alright, so I've got two different settings on this. I'm just going to use this shared one, so if I move this around, stuff will happen. But let's set up our board so stuff will work. So looking at this, we need to go into mode selection, 
Now we need to set some of these channels that we're going to use to be used by it. So I'm going to set angle and horizon. So aux1 we're going to set to probably be our switch because it's got three options there. Cool. So I'll save that. So see how that's um, red in that? Now that orange bit in the middle shows you what it's currently on. Although it's lying because it can't actually pick it up right now. So see how I'm moving this and it's not working right now? That's probably because we haven't mapped our channels. So let's um, have a quick look at that. Oh, before we do this, let's go into our recommended PID settings. Now this is done by um, Curtis B, so we'll put them in. PID tuning. So what different ones does he have here? No, they're all the same. Okay, so roll rate, same. Roll rate, same, TBA. Derivative. I don't think I've got anything to change. That's quite easy. Hmm. Right, so it looks like those I've put in earlier, those settings. So he recommends to adjust them. So follow the guide and adjust them to look like that or his picture on his um, website. So mode selection, you've got all these. Receiver, you've got this. Channel map, it's all good. Now I'm going to just fiddle around for a sec. Oh, so here's what I've done wrong. We need to enable PPM input. So let's turn that on. And we should be able to get a decent signal on our thing then. Okay, so let's see how that's worked now. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Any better? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's um, picked up now. So see how I'm adjusting stuff here? And that all works. Now I'll show you extremely quickly how you set up those bits. So on the free sky at Tyrannus, I'm just going to show you prove that it works. Total that pretty well. Alright, so what you do is on your free sky at Tyrannus, there's actually two menus and I'll, I'll link to a proper guide to do this because it gets kind of frustrating and I totally understand. So you go to um, Pages. Oh wow, how did I get into this one? Hmm. <laughs> one second. I've got a date and everything for this. Right, so. First thing you have to do is on page 2 of the X9D, scroll right down to the bottom. And you need to go into the internal RF. Now, if you haven't already, you need to set the bind. This isn't coming up too well, is it? So, yeah, I think I might leave this to later. Let's go to model setup, and you need to go to bind up here. Out of the bottom, sorry. But the important part is you need to make sure your channels match up. So, see on Inputs, this is page 8, make them all be good, yep, turn this out, rudder, aileron, rudder, all that kind of stuff, but the important part is on the end there, see how I've got some other ones, One, five, six, seven, eight. now I've got them to letters, it's like SC, now what's SC, if you look on the controller, SC is this one, so if I push this down, that's changing that arm switch that we were looking at earlier. Let's have a look in the um, mode selection. So see how as I change this, it's reflecting what it's on. See? So that's how you set flight mode. Cool, eh? So the next option is, once you set your channels on page 6, the next one is the mixer, so you need to say what channels you're actually sending this stuff to. 
So I need to go, okay, so channels 1 is roll, 2 is pitch, all etc. yada, yada, yada. Hopefully that's right. And then you need to go, all right, so I'm going to map these channels using this, the mixer. So see how I've set 5, which we had as a SC, to be that one. And that's our, our auxiliary 1 that gets sent to the base fly. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I'll just double check on the manual, we're all good. Yeah, I think we are. So I'll um, save that and um, hopefully you've had a good time watching it. So the next step for this is to plug in the battery connector, take off the FTDI and um, try it out, probably without the propellers. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. That's it for this one.